objects. So let's have a play with the heavyweight cartridge paper. Let's take a sheet of this out. So this is part of the bundle of three of the pads it comes yeah, in, isn't it? Right? Yeah, you can do so much with those three pads, yeah. the different papers. And then let's show you the felt pens as well. So I'll pull these out so you've got this handy tray to keep them in. OK, let's go with some greens. Are you good at putting pens back once you work with them or do you leave them all over the desk? Oh no, they've got to go back. Oh yeah. <laughs> they've got to go back in exactly the right rainbow colour oh. order as well. I put, a, I put a picture up on um, my, um, nearly called it an old name there, Craft Store Facebook page. And um, someone had put together a display cabinet. It was like an, uh, an art, an sort of really art basically, but they'd got hundreds of pens, all different gradients, and it became like a art on this wall that they had. And you go, would you be tempted to use them or would it just, would you never be able to touch <laughs> them in case you, one went uh, out or whatever? But they look great as decoration, as, uh, as wall art, to be honest. Good colours in, oh, in their yeah, right, uh, right place. You can't beat rainbow colours of anything, no. I don't think. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, I was like, oh, they're lovely greens. Yeah, with all this rain that we've had, I think everything's just, the trees and everything's all come out in this yeah. lovely bright green i just and love getting the bright colors my lawn yesterday sue so, oh yeah, so and i've done been that. inspired <laughs> <laughs> my, my grass doesn't look as nice and neat as that does what you got there <laughs> put it that way so i'm just making a little landscape using the pens and the ink with water so i've got a few steps planned out because i don't want to wait till for stuff to dry so mm. i've got my landscape here and then if you go for a darker green i'm just going to create some quick trees i just love doing these fir trees because it's just scribbling basically <laughs> just do a stem trunk and just scribble oh get, i love getting that. <laughs> wider as you go down different sizes that's, I love that. that's brilliant quick and easy yeah let's put another one, little one there and then if i get a smaller brush which is this one it's nice to have these different sizes I just love moving ink with water. Yeah. And just go over them with some water just to sort of hide the fact that it is scribbling. That one needs a bit more drawing. What's your background, Sue, with regards to art? Did you did, did are you complete yourself taught and everything? Did I did like A level at school yeah. quite a long time ago now, but I've always <laughs> loved you know, I've always, I'm always creative, creative person. Right, right. Really, I'm not good for anything else. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just love that. anything creative, colour, you know, craft. I'm just mad on crafting. Yeah. I love this. Okay. I, you know, you can spend a bit longer doing this and you just get scribbly, watery trees oh, like great. that. Yeah. And then if I go for a nice light blue and the teal colour, I mean, this is like the quickest landscape ever. I'm just going to create like a, a bit of a C going on there. Let's put in some, and use different colours over the top, you know, create different shades. And then just show that some water as well. Just to create like a quick bit that of looks C. so nice. So, That's so all you need to do, and you've got kind of a landscape going on. And then if you work in the sky, let's have a different blue. And the good thing about these pens is these nibs, you can drawn them on the side and you can put down quite a bit of colour right and, and this is more gentle to the nib rather than going bashing down with it and scribbling oh, cool. like right. that on the tip because you will flare the tip eventually so keep that for so your detail or yeah or if you want to spread a lot of colour always go side really sideways with it let's add some other blue as well that's it some turquoise in there and then get that lovely oh, I like this. this lovely fat brush it's gorgeous holds loads of water uh. and this paper's marvelous because the color moves from it sort of right. thing you don't sort of get these the lines where you've written you know you've drawn and, and let's be honest you, you you have added a lot of water onto that and it and it is still taking it isn't it it's yeah, taking all the water yeah. And then if you just drop some blobs of water on there, you might get like a cloud effect sort of coming. That's it. And leave some white space as well. That sort of makes it sort of sparkle if you leave a few little bits of white. 
So that's that, and then I've got let that dry. And if you get some tracing paper and put some lettering on there, uh, so that's the the sheet. By the way, is from the um, heavyweight um, cartridge paper that's part of the set of three, uh, along with the parchment and also with the tracing paper. Um, and I think it's twenty five sheets. I think in that one pad alone you get there. So it's only seventeen ninety nine. So. So a really lovely set of three, actually, when you think about what you get in there, the parchment, the tracing, uh, and also you've also uh, got the, uh, the cartridge, the heavyweight. And another little tip is um, always um, sort of test your pen on another sheet of paper to okay. get it working. Because sometimes you might go to, to write and it doesn't quite write. So if you put it, just scribble it on a piece of paper to start with. I'm going to go back down to here now. And then you can create, you know, lovely cards with a quick bit of colouring and your own lettering caption. And then you're, you can create some nice cards. I'm doing it sort of a bit quite quick here. And with the tracing paper, you know, you can Put some, you can write it first in pencil underneath. Oh, yes, yeah. And even if you're just going to grab the book, you know, if you wanted, like, quick results straight away. Oh, I think I know where you're going yeah. with that. <laughs> the tracing paper, you know, you can... And you do get you that can, as part of the kit as well, don't actually, you, Nick? Yeah, yeah, the accessory kit is there. Why not? Sort of go over it. It's practice, isn't it? It's all practice. And then you can create words like that. <laughs> oh, could, why yes. not? Why not? Why not? So that's when you've written your caption, this was a two, a two pen, so that's quite a nice width. So when you've done your caption, then you can rip the tracing paper rips beautifully as well. Well, that's, yes, I saw some of the um, samples that you've done with the tracing paper on there and, and added it on. It, it does look really lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Th yes, exactly. Yeah. So you, you know, you can do. You, you're lettering in stages and if you didn't like that one you can practice it again until you get one that's right and then bring in your landscape and then you can just fix it wrap it round the trim the card and wrap oh. this round and then you've got a lovely sort of card you know someone that. might want to frame that even absolutely so here's one that i did earlier and oh, i've kind beautiful. of helped stick the banner down with some just some gems it looks like it's raining Oh, that is really a, lovely. made a card out of it. And if you're brave enough, then have a go at writing directly onto the, the artwork as well. So here I've chopped off more of the sky and written, written that on the, the ground in the foreground. That's really lovely.